Do you want the foods? Okay. I am running really behind this morning. I am still cooking breakfast and we have to leave in like half an hour. I haven't made lunches or any snacks. Uh, I have a whole new wonderful zip there. Um, Last game I showed you guys yesterday was Dead Last. It's a great game to play, very funny. There's a lot of treachery and it's assassin versus assassin versus however many people you want. I think it plays like up to 12. Ooh, okay, egg. Just a really busy morning this morning. Okay, gotta make my smoothie. My plan of eating a big breakfast did not work, but it kind of helped. It let me go longer. So instead of 1,700 calories the first day, I got like 1,500 calories the second day. I'm going to go for a happy medium and just do the smoothie and some sausages, cut out the eggs because I have hard boiled eggs at the convention. Uh, this morning, I think my period bloating went away. This is why we do an average. I have an average. So I am down 4.5 pounds from the starting week, which was about five, six weeks ago, a month and a half. And I am down 1.6 from last week. And I have no idea where my calorie counting is. I think maybe it's gonna have to be starting again next, next week because it starts on Sunday, today's Sunday, and I don't know how many I'm gonna have. I'm gonna maybe guesstimate and say I'll probably get 15 to 1700 again today. So yesterday in the middle of the day between like 11 and 2 I started getting in a grumpy mood. I was tired and I was getting very down on myself because I couldn't understand any of the games and all the rules and I was losing badly on all of them. And it wasn't so much that I was losing, it's that everyone seemed to understand the rules even though it was a new game to them and I was the only one who couldn't figure it out. No one was being mean to me, <laughs> but it was all internal self-deprecation. I had to take a beat and just sit out for like an hour. When I came back, everything was good. These are gamers. They can understand the rules quicker because they play so many games and they know how to read these cards and how to look for clues within these rule cards. And I got none of that. After I took a beat, I realized that everyone wants to play a game. Everyone is willing to walk me through it. They know I'm new at it. They are not judging, scrutinizing, or questioning my intelligence. Well, maybe. I did say a lot of stupid things. But it is okay. I pushed through it. Someone came to me and was like, hey, do you want to play an easy, fun card game? And I was like, yes, please, please. I need like a brain reset. And it was so nice of them to notice, but it is a community in that board game convention. I got like a few phone numbers or Discord friends now, and I encourage you to stick through it if something like that is happening where you might be socially awkward, uh, in an introvert, um, it drains you just being out in public, high anxiety. I'd say a board game convention or just a board game night might be your safest bet to ease into socializing because 99% of the people at these conventions, the board game conventions, are feeling the exact same way as you are and they just want to play a game. But it was really rough being that bad. I also spoke my needs. I said, hey, I can't keep doing this. My partner said, okay, what do you want to do? Stuck with it. And it turned out to be a really great night. Okay, I have to get back to cooking and getting ready. I just wanted to throw that out there for those of us who need social interaction, but really hate social interaction. It's a good option. I really don't feel like I did anything different today than I did yesterday. I got up at the same time. I think I had to do more with the progress pics and talking to the camera. I just don't understand it. We got all the ranch seasoning, huh? What? We have all the ranch seasoning, huh? We have spicy ranch seasoning, too. Do you want the spicy one? I know, I don't. 
I don't think we have time to fuck around with mayonnaise. I know there's still mayonnaise in there. I, what I do is, is I take care of it like later when I have time on that. Everything's going in the sink right now. I'm gonna take care of it when I get home. Just kisses and love. Done with four minutes to spare, but look. Still proud and prominent. Let's do this. That's oh, an eagle. Why can't I see it on my camera? That's another eagle. They're really out here today. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Wait, what was it? Eight. eight. You gotta be out by eight. So really seven and then you start packing up and leaving. Um, we are leaving at 3.30, so we are leaving like four and a half hours earlier. But all together, we did 30 hours of gaming over a three day period. That was intense. And my face apparently wants to tell me how intense it was. I am happy to go home early today, soak in the tub, a pimple patch on this sucker and rest my poor fried brain. It's 20 fried eggs on it. I am done. Thank you for watching and putting up with my slow brain and I will see you guys tomorrow.